You know, Grayson Jones, our pitcher, kept Grissom at bay after the two-run home run and just kept giving us, giving us a chance to get back in the game. Every inning he gave us a chance, gave us a chance. And, you know, and finally our hitters in the sixth inning stepped up. And it was, you know, we challenged him in the dugout. Hey, you know, you got a kid pitching his guts out right now. He hadn't thrown but two innings in the last three weeks. And uh, just because of matchups and uh, – We've been sweeping people, and uh, he's been out, he's out there pitching his guts out. We need to go up there and show some guts at the plate, and I, I felt like they did that. They, they accepted the challenge. And uh, no different than the first two, just just winning pitches and um, you know just capitalizing on your chances. And we we had too many empty innings you know, at the plate in uh, in game two, and, and we got to make sure we don't have that happen. Well, I think the key to game three is uh, separating tonight to tomorrow because you had two emotional games. They get game one, we get game two, and when you wake up tomorrow, it's a new day. And it's, you know, if you just go play the game, I think the biggest thing is just separating it. You know, and, and obviously we want to try to use the momentum of, of the, the last inning into tomorrow to come out and play well. They know what to do. You know, heck, we've lost a lot of games this year, and they've come back from a lot, so they'll be fine. And, um, you know, I feel good about it. They've got a good arm ready to pitch. We've got a few good arms, I think, that we got a chance to throw. So we'll see who competes and who wins.